What's up guys, it's Twisted Gaming, and today I am going to show you how to mod Borderlands. Now, you're only going to really need two things, and that's some type of Internet Explorer, you know, some Google, whatever, Willow Tree, and of course, Borderlands. If you don't have Borderlands, I'm sorry to say that you really should not be trying to mod it. I'll have a link to Willow Tree in the description to make sure you can get it easily. And let's get started. Alright, first we're going to open up Borderlands, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. And here I'm going to show you... Let's see, let's look at my character here. You see it's Dakota, it's a level 61 soldier. And if you're familiar with the game, you know... Right here, plot mission, sludge to the safe house. It's within the first 20 missions of the game, so there's no reason a level 61 soldier should be on there. So what we're going to do is we are going to show you how I got there. So I'm going to pop out of here, and once again, we'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back, and next I'm going to show you the next part of this, how I got there. And I just noticed that my Bandicam logo is up here, and it's because I got a new laptop, and I have to rebuy it. Which I think is something they need to work on. Alright, and come here, we're going to open up Willow Tree. This takes a minute to load, so we're just going to wait right here. Alright, here we are guys, and I just wanted to go ahead and say something that I wish I had known the first time I tried this. When you download Willow Tree from the link I give you, it will be a zipped file. And you have to have some way to unzip it. And when you do, you need to take out Willow Tree, Dev Component, and Data. You can put them all in a folder together, or just have them all out. I normally have the sticky note out, but it's got some personal information, so it's minimized. It's normally covering these up. Alright, but right now, if you notice, the only thing you can access are the Willow Tree Locker and the main page. Well, we're going to fix that. We're going to pop this down. You want to go into your File Explorer. Explore her, whatever. You're going to come over to Documents. You're going to come down to My Games. This one we're trying to model in Borderlands 1, so we're going to click on there. Save data, and I've only got one save, so it's right here. I'm going to come right here. Copy. Right here. We're going to paste it. That way we have a copy, if anything goes wrong. Oop, I still got two up, and I could have sworn I X'd out of one. Okay, so we have a copy if anything goes wrong. Now we're going to come up here, open. You can open the copy and do that one and drop it back in, but it's so much easier just to come through here. Open it up like this. Alright, now when you open this up, right here, Dakota 61 Soldier. Now we can unlock all this general info, my na character name, class, level, backpack space. Now, here you can change all this. There's not too much you can do to break your game here. I wouldn't mess with the save number too much. That could break your save. But, I know. Backpack space, if you put it higher than 10,000, it'll mess up your game. Equip slots cannot go higher than 4. Um, experience in this, you can do as high as you want. Skill points, you can throw as high as you want. And cash caps out at 999,999,999. You can change your location. And these are your visited locations. If you wanted to add more, just go through right here. Oh, oh messed up there. <laughs> See if I can ever get to this. Here you can add any of them. If you want to teleport to a spot using that one, vault, wherever you want to go. Weapons here, those are the only three weapons my character has at the moment. Items, you can look at all the items. These unknown items are actually health packs. Skills, I bumped most of my proficiencies up to 50, the ones I use pretty often. You can set your Scorpio to it, well this one because it's a soldier. You can set your quest to where, you know, you can make it, uh, I keep repeating myself here. You can set it to where progress, which if you finished it, you can set it to what objective you have if you set it to started. You can bump your ammo pulls up, your SDU upgrades, your echo logs, and completely honest with you guys, I'm not sure what Willow Tree Locker is. But now here, that's all that. Bump your character level up. Now here we're going to go with weapons. We want to make a max start weapon. Now in this one you can't have game breaking weapons. It won't let you that I've ever seen. No god weapons. 
but what you can do is you can bump your level up proficiencies and we will make the best damn weapon in this game so we're gonna cut out and we will be right alright guys we're back and here's how we're gonna make our weapon whoa something oh no don't want that something I was messing with earlier now you're just gonna wanna come to I'll have a link for this too but really you just need to search any type of gun or gear calculator for borderlands now you can make weapons or shields here and I'm gonna show you how to drop them in the willow tree in just a moment now here you can pop up your level to it if you don't want to make it too cheaty and just want to bit the best level, best gun for that level, whatever. But right now I was messing with the shotgun. If you do item grade, leave type alone because when you go to grade it'll automatically match this. And much rules, just test this out. If you look over here, it's got four zoom, twelve times two ninety nine. Well, let's not change anything yet. Click calculate now that I moved it back down to level zero. Twelve times sixteen pretty in my opinion badass gun for the beginning of the game let's look what we have 4 times zoom 105 damage recoil reduction fire rate and it's 12 times 16 let's move it down to body 2 see this moves around everything moves a little bit now the magazine size is up instead but I've got mine built now in this one there aren't any real rules except manufacturers do not coexist in one gun Right now, I have my manufacturer's atlas, so my material has to be an atlas material, and any accessories I had have to be atlas. If I've made a gun by atlas, I can't put in the TD or Defender as a body, I can't put a Jacob Striker as a bill. And you have to set one of these, so you can really only use parts from that. Calculate it right now, it's level 0 in my character, I bumped up to level 61 to show y'all. But when we click calculate, with auto naming, it'll go ahead and give it a name. Nope. I believe I had bill 5. It doesn't too matter too much. So bump this up. Pretty great weapon. Let's see. Alright, so now we're going to come over to code. It says click anywhere to copy. Do exactly what it says, just click. Okay. We're done here. We're going to open up Willow Tree. Right here we want to click new new weapon and you're going to want to click import weapon from clipboard now it'll have all the stats as that save changes and pull hydra just like what it was called this is a pistol I made earlier when you make them out of certain things I'll always say pull now I think that's all I really want to do actually let's come here we can take action no we're going to edit levels and all of the guns in your backpack will be adjusted to the following level, let's say 69. Okay. And general info, we're going to bump our character level up to 69 too. Click save as. Just right here, out in documents, borderland, save data. Yes, we want to replace it. Okay. And that was the reason we made a copy of our original one, because if it messes up, we've got a copy right there. Alright, I'll open up. Alright guys, so we're back right here. And when we go to our single player game, as you can see, we are now bumped up to a level 69 soldier. So let's come in here. Let's give this just a sec to load guys, sorry about the wait. And if you have any questions about this, or anything in particular I'll be happy to help I'm a new youtuber and I mostly wanted to do Minecraft Skyrim maybe some Borderlands tutorials you know just kind of jump around mostly gaming though if any of y'all want to in particular right now like I said I'm new don't have many subscribers I actually think I've got one to learn how to do I'd be happy to help if it'll get me any publicity at all or even if you just want the help. Alright, so let's come through here. Let's see, our proficiencies are up. Now when we come over here, weapons. Here we have the gun we just made. Let's replace this. Let's look at this gun. Go to scope. Look at this. I threw a scope on it because I thought it'd be kind of ironic. I love irony. Let's go ahead, find over here, 
show you that this is not a ghost item. It doesn't use up and then do no damage because we have it set too high. Oh, let's see right here. Boom. See, the spread's fairly good. Let's see, can we get these two at once? Boom. We're all doing fairly well. So, let's see, how well does the range work since we put on that other stuff? Pretty long range. Let's try for this one in the back. So, you can set it up with whatever kind of weapon you want, however you want to do it. Um, I tell you what to do. You, it's very important to make a copy of the save just in case we had accidentally corrupted it. We didn't want to lose all the progress from before. And the only issue I've ever had with Willow Tree is the fact that if you open up a modded save and you accidentally mess something up without a copy, is that I've lost it. That's the only problem I've ever seen. Um, and remember, when you download Willow Tree and extract it, you have to extract the dev component and the data folder. Alright guys, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. And since I'm new, a like and a subscription, even a few comments and suggestions would help out quite a bit. Alright, thank you guys. Have a great one. Hope this helped.